AMC Theaters has put out a statement saying that they are no longer going to be showing Universal Films. But do we know the whole story to this? Let's talk about that right now. Hello everybody and welcome back to another movie news video. My name is Joger and today we decided to go a little to a different side of things in the movie community and talk about what is going on between the AMC Theater Company and Universal Pictures. So by now I'm sure a few of you have heard that there has been quite a fight going on between AMC and Universal. It seemed to be over the success of Trolls 2 performing well on video on demand, but apparently there's a lot more to it than a lot of people are thinking. And it ended with AMC saying that they're not going to be showing any of Universal's films in any of their theaters. But a lot of people don't know that that's not the whole story, and the reason that they're going about this is a lot more reasonable than you'd actually think. So obviously this is all because of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has caused theaters across the globe to close down completely, not letting anybody in and not showing any films until further notice. Because of this situation, Universal decided to put Trolls World Tour out on video on demand, since there are no theaters to put it in, and also because apparently they're in a licensing deal with some toy companies, so they need the movie to come out as soon as possible. And in doing so, the movie just so happened to make $100 million at this box office, I guess you could call it, straight from video on demand within the first three weeks of its release. This was seen as a big achievement to Universal since when the first Trolls film came out a few years ago, it made $154 million in its first three weeks in theaters alone. So seeing that you had one film that could do really well on video on demand, potentially brought some ideas into Universal that perhaps they should start releasing more films on video on demand, and that's where the issue started. Because of the success of Trolls World Tour through video on demand, NBC Universal CEO Jeff Schell told the Wall Street Journal in an interview, the results of Trolls World Tour have exceeded our expectations and demonstrated the viability of PVOD, or premium on demand. As soon as theaters reopen, we expect to release movies on both formats. You know, at first glance, you're like, okay, cool, they're going to release movies on demand and in theaters. Okay, that doesn't sound so bad. So the issue here is that this is crushing what's called the theatrical window. The theatrical window is the time between movies going from theaters to DVDs and on shelves for rentals, buying in stores, you name it. And this is a big deal for a lot of the theaters because the theatrical window, those few weeks to a few months when a movie is showing on their screens, that's the only time they're going to see profit from that film, from, from customers buying their tickets and buying stuff in the theater. But once that movie leaves their screens and goes to DVD and to be purchased in other stores, they're no longer making any revenue from that particular movie. In a response to this, AMC's CEO Adam Aaron made a huge statement about it in a letter that was written to Universal explaining the issues he was having with this concept that Universal wanted to do. And there's a whole massive article to this. It was written out by Collider. They have all the quotes. I will post that in the comments down below so you can read the whole thing. And toward the bottom of this, there's one quote that sums up the whole thing, basically. And this is the same quote from AMC CEO Adam Aaron, who said, Going forward, AMC will not license any Universal movies in any of our 1,000 theaters globally on these terms. And that's the important part you have to take away from this, is that he says, on these terms. Everyone's freaking out and saying that AMC is banning Universal Picture Films and they're, and they're going to not let any of them in there and they're not going to show anything from Universal ever again. That's not how this is going. Under the terms that they are wanting to release movies not only in theaters but on video on demand and premium video on demand, that's where the issue lies. And a lot of people don't know why that's an issue. And there's also a good amount of people that think it's just because of the success of Trolls 2 through video on demand. That's part of it, but that's not the main reason. The main reason is that there is a big rule in something that's called NATO, not the NATO you're thinking, it's the North American Theaters Owners Association. And this association houses so many theaters such as AMC Theaters, uh, Cinemark, Landmark, Regal, and several others that all follow one specific rule, and that is that these theaters will not show movies on a day and date basis. What this basically means is that with a day and date rule, theaters will not show films in their theaters that also plan to go to a video on demand release at the same time. This is a rule they've had for a very long time in the NATO organization, and a lot of people don't know that, but you know, a lot of people don't look into that, so it's understandable. But this is the reason that this is such a big deal, is that they're wanting to do something that's against the guidelines for many of these theaters, and as a result, Universal could lose money, and the theater companies are going to lose a lot of money as well. Even though, you know, when Universal's releasing it, they may, for the entire, I guess you could say for the fiscal year, they may lose a few million to a potential few billion, depending on how many big releases Universal puts out in any one year, but you're only looking at three to four releases for that one given year. At the same time, a lot of people are seeing this and freaking out about it because they're seeing the name. The AMC Theaters is not going to let Universal show their films, you know, because Universal is one of those bigger companies that everyone knows. It's one of those companies that's up there with Warner Brothers, Sony, Paramount Pictures. It's one of those things. So you see 
that name Universal and you're like, wow, they're going to stop showing Universal films? What happened? It's the issue of that they're going against guidelines that the theaters have in place through the North American Theater Owners Association. Not so much the success of Trolls 2, although that may potentially have something to do with it. This is giving them the idea that maybe video on demand is a good way to go. And we're getting to that point where it seems like video on demand is a more higher value thing to do. And a lot of customers are interested in that. You know, even though you do have those early crowds that love going to the theaters, myself included, I love going to the early like midnight premieres of a lot of movies that come out and I've gone to several in the past couple of years since I've gotten more into film but at the same time you got to think that the entertainment industry is ever growing and continuing to move forward and because of the coronavirus pandemic this has pushed that up about five ten years per se saying that now that we're moving out of theaters and moving more towards video on demand for the sake of people wanting to keep themselves safe and away from situations such as this pandemic and i'm not saying that this is going to permanently change the way we see movies and theaters from now on it could potentially turn into that in the next couple of years but as of right now i think they're just trying to experiment universal per se putting movies out on video on demand and on theaters to see how much money they can make back. Because as of right now, a lot of these companies are making no money since all of their movies have been pushed back, they've been cut from theaters because theaters are closed down and they can't even do anything right now. Anything that's safe is pretty much any movie that's in post-production right now that can be worked on from remote locations. Do I see in the near future a higher chance of more film companies wanting to move to video on demand? Yes, I think it'll be that I think that we will get to that point, but that's just going to lower the amount of theaters that will show these particular films if they fall into the NATO organization. Do I think this is a good idea? I guess potentially there is some good in this. However, you cannot ignore the fact that there is still going to be a lot of hurt between the film industry and the theater companies that are not going to be wanting to show these films because they are all under the NATO umbrella. And yes, there are several other independent theaters and other companies that don't fall into the NATO association, but at the same time, that's just cutting down the amount of places where we can see these movies. I know for me personally, one of the theaters that I like to go to is a Cinemark theater, which is under the NATO umbrella. And because of that, if Univer if they go through with this and Universal decides that, it's not just going to be AMC that will stop showing their movies. It's going to be Cinemark, Landmark, Regal, every other company that's under the NATO umbrella. So as an example, uh, the next Jurassic World movie is scheduled for July of next year. And if I want to go and see that movie, I may not get to go to the Cinemark Theater and show it if they're going to be also putting that movie through video on demand. I don't think they're going to do that. It may just be a thing for the time since theaters aren't open right now, but it does sound like they really want to continue to try it and see if this works. Now, I don't think that that means every single movie they put out is going to go to video on demand as well as go into theaters. But as of right now, it does look like they want to try to experiment with this more and see if there's more they can get out of it, because it is going to mean more revenue for them, but it's also going to hurt a lot of theaters. Again, this is just speculation. They haven't necessarily said that they are 100% doing that, but they have stated that they want to look forward and see if they can continue to do video on demand movies in the near future. But what do you guys think of this entire mess? Are people looking too much into it? Do you think, you know, everyone's kind of on the right path? Do you think AMC is right to say they will not be showing Universal Picture films because they are going against the NATO guidelines? Or do you think someone is being a little too petty and they just need to have a conversation and work things out? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But until I get any more information on this subject because it is being updated on a daily Daily basis between comments that are still going back and forth between the AMC CEO Adam Aaron and the NBC Universal CEO Jeff Shell. That is going to be it for this video, guys. Remember, if you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more movie news videos or if you'd like to see anything else. But until then, and as always, I will see you guys next time.